Um, and to be able to just make a few comments about the role of Climate Kick and the privilege to partner with the City of Madrid, uh, with the Universitat Politecnico de Madrid and with Ferrovial as amongst the many partners that we have in Spain that are instrumental to the work that we are doing and that we are supporting here. Um, let me just make a couple of, of comments to explain a little bit more about the context for an event like this, um, which is an event very much um, focused on making connections, supporting and deepening relations and relationships and creating opportunities uh, for further partner, partnership, for acceleration, for scaling, for the development of new ideas and for serendipity, which is such an important component of what we are always doing. Um, Climate Kick is a public-private partnership. It is one of the European Union's uh, instruments to drive forward both decarbonisation on the one hand and adaptation and resilience in the face of climate change through the role of innovation. Uh, we form part of the European Institute of Innovation and Technology, the community of EIT and the KICS, um, the KIC standing for Knowledge Innovation Community. And so we make available to innovators at all scales from big business through to individual entrepreneurs, funding from the European Commission, but we also attract and gather and make available funding from a number of other sources, private funders, commercial funders, foundations, um, and uh, institutions, all very much in service of addressing climate change through innovation. And the role that we play as an organization um, that we are very proud to, to bring to life in, an, in a partnership such as the Healthy Clean Cities Deep Demonstration is one of orchestration of a very different approach to innovation with respect to the ways in which we have been uh, thinking about bringing innovation to the problem of climate change. And Madrid represents one of the leading lights, the really of, um, examples of leadership in seeking to do things differently in the next 10 years um, to, to change dramatically what it is that we are living with and the impact of our choices on our planet and on our, our future survival. The shift here, the importance of the, of the quality of work and the quality of the partnership is about bringing all of the resources that innovation, energy and activity from individual startups, new business ideas, um, training and requalification for professionals, uh, for public service officials, for students, um, and the technology transfer from corporate, from corporations, from universities, from applied research, bringing it all together uh, in such a way that it can be accessible to a city to apply in real circumstances of planned exploration and learning and accelerated testing of how to change at scale the quality of the air the way in which we think about moving about in a city, the way in which we support and, and live with nature and organic materials to improve our well-being, our mental health, our community relationships, and our carbon footprint, the way in which we think about food and water, security, resilience, adaptation, and the way in which we think about financing mechanisms and policy and governance mechanisms to enable us to bring about sustainability transformations in a way that is inclusive and is, uh, um, and is positive and constructive and full of hope and possibility rather than crisis uh, and the response to crisis that we know, for example, we are living with now. So initiatives like the deep demonstration in Madrid are living uh, examples, living demonstrations of learning, testing, exploring, navigating into the future with a way of harnessing the power of innovation differently and bringing it together in support of the decision making of the city, the policy and planning making, procurement decisions, and in support of capital, looking for a much greater impact than funding individual projects that are disconnected from future markets or disconnected from policy and planning and from the needs of challenge owners like city governments. So I'm extremely proud to be part of this, uh, of this partnership. It's a privilege to learn with the city and to learn with uh, corporate partners like Forval to bring our alumni, our, our entrepreneurs, 
uh, our innovators together into this, into this partnership and to look forward to what will be uh, uncharted but uh, incredibly important waters for the whole of Europe to learn from. Uh, as we look at the priorities of the Green Deal, the opportunity of the missions, as Santiago mentioned, and the urgent need to connect our response to COVID-19 with the opportunity to leapfrog forward um, and equip ourselves better for a series of difficult crises with a transition that is managed and deliberate and creative. And I believe that's possible in the work we're doing together. Mm -hmm.